Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Destiny. If you are a returning subscriber, then hey, girl, hey. But if you are new to my channel, then welcome, welcome, welcome. So today's video, I'm basically going to be talking about feminine hygiene. So I'm going to share some of the products I like to use. And I'm also going to share with you some of the tips and tricks that I like to incorporate into my daily feminine hygiene routine. But I'm not going to include skincare and I'm not going to include oral hygiene. But I hope everyone is washing their face and brushing their teeth correctly. So let's just jump right into the video. So Real hot girl shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm in my bag, but I'm in his too. <laughs> And that's why every time you see me, well, I got first things first when I take a shower, I like to use a wash rag, but I also like to use an exfoliating glove. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the glove. It's literally an exfoliating glove. Now I like to use this because if you don't use like a body scrub, you still are able to get um, to exfoliate your skin, whether you're using a scrub or just the glove alone. So you can use this and just put your body wash on it and then scrub your skin or you can use this and use a scrub as well which is not really necessary but i like to use an exfoliating glove every time i take a shower now when i use soap i like to start off with a bar of soap i like to use yardly either the lavender scent or i like the avocado scent the reason I like to use Yardly is because it's gentle on your skin and a lot of times my skin my skin has become really sensitive lately. I don't know why, but I get sometimes I get chest acne. That's the only part of my body that will break out when I'm using like a a product. It's really really weird. That's the only part of my, my body that will break out. It's literally my chest area. So Yardly is really calm on your skin. It's really gentle and my doctor act, actually recommended it to me as well. So if you suffer from like chest acne or anything like that, try out Yardly. It definitely can help improve your skin condition. Now also I do suffer a little bit from skin discoloration. Like sometimes under my arms it will be lighter some weeks, darker is up and down. So I do like to use this papaya soap. I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like this. It's kind of similar if you guys ever heard of the Kojic Acid um, soap. It's kind of similar to that. It's a whitening soap, but this one is just papaya scent. So I use this and it works really, really well. Also, if you guys want to see like a skin discoloration like progress video, I can make that for you as well. Also, after I kind of like I'm finished with my bar soaps, I then like to take my dr bronner's this is holy grail like i literally literally live by this i've actually tried this as a shampoo as well because as, as you know or if you don't know this is like an 18 in one soap so it's 18 different uses you can use it to clean your house you can use it for laundry detergent you can use it as shampoo now one thing it definitely does it definitely did clean my hair but my hair was really really dry because you are supposed to dilute this stuff even when you're taking a shower but overall i love this and i even use this on my lady part when it's that time of the month and i use it on my back door okay because we can't be smelling funky out here i sometimes i do like to use something that is a little bit more fragrancy or girly i like to use this coco shea honey moisturizing body wash now this is from bath and body works they have like a new line of like um body washes and stuff like this so just as part of their moisturizing body wash and it's cocoa butter shea butter and pure honey so i like to use this every now and then but not too too often but i like to use it every now and then and also sometimes i do like to use this aromatherapy um this is from bath and body works as well this is their rose and vanilla scent and it foams up really really well because this is a foam bath so you're supposed to put this like when you take a bath and stuff like that but i like to use this as a shower gel and as you can see it's almost finished so if i use something scented i either use this or this but most of the time i use my yardley and my dr bronner's soap i do also exfoliate my skin and i use the tea the tea what is it tea hut cocoa coconut oh cocoa culotta this is the cocoa culotta i don't know if you guys can see i've actually tried like two of their other scrubs as well this stuff is a miracle if you could get your hands on it 
try it out like it's really really amazing it's not one of those like gritty scrubs or anything like that like it's literally just perfect so i use this to exfoliate my skin as well and also i do want to mention i don't shave and i don't um plug or tweeze or anything like that i wax my underarms and i wax my lady parts so i don't shave the only part of my body that i shave is my legs or sometimes i will use nair but every now and then i will use the nair because sometimes it burns i don't know like i don't know maybe this is just a bad bottle but it seems like as soon as i put this stuff on it's like burning so most of the time i do shave my legs now once i get out the shower i like to moisturize my skin with my own body butter i do make my own body butter i have a diy video if you guys want to see i don't know if you guys can see because it's too light but it's literally let me show you it literally melts like butter on your skin look at that it just melts like butter like it melts a like butter on your skin so that is literally the only thing i put on my skin to moisturize with but because it does have oils in it so i put like coconut oil shea, shea butter cocoa butter almond oil and i did add some mangoes into it sometimes it can be a little bit too much especially like in the summertime so i will use the jergens um ultra healing um moisturizer i got this from like family dollar this was like five dollars so i will use this like towards the summertime just because you know sometimes all those oils can to be a little bit too too much now also like i said i do suffer from discoloration so i do use this natanola this is their skin discoloration fade cream i, I do use this pretty often um, you're supposed to use it twice a day, but I use it mainly at nighttime. I don't use it like in the morning. I like to use this during the nighttime when I'm about to go to bed. Now this was $13 and I got this from um, Walgreens. So this is really, really good if you suffer from like skin discoloration as well. Now on to deodorant. I do use a natural deodorant. This is the deodorant. It's called the Healthy Deodorant. I got this from Sephora and it was $14. I know, I know, I know. But it lasts like low key. This stuff lasts like really, really long. But like I said, it is a natural deodorant. So it doesn't have chemicals like aluminum or anything like that. Like I said, my underarms, they be up and down. So I've been using a natural deodorant and I've seen an improvement. Like I said, if you guys do want to see like a progress video or anything like that, let me know because I will be i um, happy to make it for you guys but I use this deodorant now one thing I can say is if you are um, wanting to try out a natural deodorant I would definitely recommend it but you must know that it doesn't have all of the chemicals the aluminum the things that will prevent odor and sweating the way a normal deodorant will so if you sweat a lot or if you you know your sweat is really funky or whatever the case may be I wouldn't really recommend a natural deodorant because it won't really cover you and you'll probably have to be putting deodorant on every two minutes but sometimes in the summertime I can't help it I'm like no like mm -mm. so I will use the Dove cucumber scent I really really love cucumber scent deodorant I don't know why but I love the Dove cucumber now on to fragrance so i'm going to share two of my favorite body mints and then i'm going to share two of my perfume my favorite perfumes now my first favorite perfume this is kind of like my favorite by default because this was the first scent that i've actually spent money on and this is the mark jacobs daisy now this is probably like my second or this is like my third bottle it's like my second or third bottle but this is the first scent that i really you know spent the bag on i was like perfume costs that much what but this is like uh, it smells so good like it smells amazing so the mark jacobs is definitely like mark jacobs daisy is definitely in my like top three because i have about like six of his fragrances so this one is like my top three and my definitely in my top three now my second favorite fragrance from him is the mark jacobs um twinkle as you can see this bottle i don't know if you guys can see but it's literally almost finished this one y'all like a lot of his scents are geared towards like you know they're fruity girly you know floral they you know they cater to the younger crowd it's no white diamonds no none of that so if you are looking into a perfume or anything like that i would definitely recommend it perfume 
let me tell you something perfume lasts so long it lingers it just smells <sighs> y'all i can't even stress this enough like invest in a good not even it doesn't even have to be the most expensive perfume but you can try out some type of perfume because these body mist body splash you be spraying yourself throughout the whole day and we don't really got time for that but i do have two that i kind of like um well not kind of like that i do like that every now and then i'll put them on when you know i'm just running around or like when i'm in the house i get out the shower and i'm in the house i like to put these on and the first one is the victoria's secret amber romance i'm pretty sure you guys all smell this it, it gives like brown sugar and spice vibes <laughs> like it smells good to me like to me it's really weird because i feel like they their warm warmer scents last longer than their fruity scents so that's why i like this one because i feel like this one lasts a little bit longer compared to like their fruity scents and things like that now another fragrance that i like from them is their love scent this is the travel size one i do carry this one in my bag and they actually do have a perfume and i was thinking about buying it because i really really like this one low-key like i could really see myself wearing this as like a a, a perfume but some of the reviews were saying they don't really last that long and i was like for 78 dollars it better last long how y'all like this bottle with me by the way i don't know i did it today i wanted to try something new i never really had short hair but i don't know how y'all like it on me let me know but anyway i'm, I'm rambling but anyway this is like a uh, perfume i can definitely well a uh, body splash that i can really see myself wearing as a fragrance so i probably will buy it but you know we on quarantine so i ain't really trying to order anything that ain't a necessity so i will see but that these two are my favorite like body splashes right here and then these two are my favorite perfumes now when it is that time of the month i do like to use the dr Bronner's peppermint soap but also i will sometimes use the um they have an unscented soap i don't really like this one because it says unscented but i still feel like low-key it still has a scent like if you know what i mean like unscented stuff still has a scent low-key i don't care what they say it's, it's it has like a weird smell to it but sometimes i will bounce between this one or the peppermint but i really prefer the peppermint when it's that time of the month and then i prefer this one you know just like regular day base on a regular basis but i bounce between the two of those now also i don't use tampons because i don't know if you guys heard of something called toxic shock syndrome but i've actually had an episode and it scared the living crap out of me it actually happened to me while i was in school so i use pads i use the always overnight pads these are the purple ones i like to use the the just just to be safe because sometimes my period be heavy light it's really up and down so i like to use the always overnight um level five pads all the time even you know not just when i'm going to sleep and then when my period light ends up i do use a panty liner and i also use these on regular days just when it's extra juicy okay and also when i go to the bathroom like when i'm changing my pads and stuff like that or even when i'm going to the bathroom like number two and even when i pee sometimes i use huggies wipes i use the natural care for sensitive skin wipes i i love these like i carry the um they have like a thin size like a small size they come i think it's like 24 in a pack i carry those with me um especially when it's that time of the month i don't use anything summer's eve or anything like that i've been wanting to try this um product called the honey pot let me know in the comments if anyone's tried it out it's by um it's like a young black female she came out with this feminine you know wash line it's called the honey pie i've been wanting to try it i tried to look it up online i think they only sell it at target it's that product that caused like a whole bunch of controversy um i don't know if you guys heard it heard about it but it's called the honey pie i want to try it but i don't know yet i will see but last but not least that's part of my feminine hygiene i take these cranberry pills that support your urinary health now they do have like actual um pre prebiotics or probiotics that target that area but i like to take these because it comes with vitamin c in it as well so you're kind of getting like two for one but 
that is basically it for this video i don't want to make it too long because i see it's getting a little bit lengthy i don't want to make it too long you guys but that is it for my feminine hygiene routine let me know down in the comments if you use any of these products or if you tried them out didn't like them or you can even share some of your products with me but that is it for this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye